Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's Jill with Go English Coach. We introduced um, some simple past and past progressive last week. And today we're going to dive a little deeper into that. Um, I'm moving fairly quickly on these topics because um, you guys are advanced learners. Another thing that we looked at in our last class was the long list of past irregular verbs. So, you know, we looked at maybe the most common ones, be, go, do, have, those are come, those are kind of like the, you know, top five, there's a top 10 of the ones that you should really, really know. And in general, you know, it's just a good idea to get that list and be pretty comfortable with it. Okay, so let's just do a quick review. We've got the simple past here, past progressive here. Simply put, if you've got just a regular verb in English, you're going to add ed, right? This one's a little different because it's the word, the verb study, S-T-U-D-Y. So when we have the Y, the Y changes to I-E. So the Y changes to I-E, just like when we have the um, present tense and we use S, we change the Y to IE, okay? So she studied in English, that's the past tense, kind of that one-time thing, right? So if we have our, our timeline, future here, past here, this is now, and this is like a one-time thing, okay? It just happened once, it doesn't, it didn't happen, it happened once and it's done now, okay? Great, so making this now negative, she didn't study in England. She didn't study. So we changed the main verb back to its um, present tense form and we use didn't or did not, okay? Didn't or did not. She didn't study in England, okay? All right. Um, here we've got a question. Did she study in English? So we're using just the same verb and the same structure of the sentence just to kind of show some continuity and some um, make it easier to kind of see what's changing in each sentence. So did she study in England? Did she study in England? So you're taking that present tense form of the do auxiliary, but that's in the past, okay? Did she study in English? You can also say here, didn't she study in England? The, the point of the question or the meaning of the question in the positive or the negative is the same. It just has a little bit different tone. So if I say, didn't she study in England? That's a little bit more like, I'm confused. If I say, did she study in England? That's just kind of a general question, okay? Now, the final one here is where did she study in English, England? So she, we're asking here um, some more specific information. This is that WH form. Um, so yeah, so you're asking where did she study, okay? So let's take these sentences and kind of move it into the past tense, okay? So we've got our past, or excuse me, our past progressive. So remember past progressive is future, past, it's something that started in the past and continued for a period of time and ended in the past. So started and ended in the past. All right. So, um, and oftentimes, and we'll talk about this here in a second, but oftentimes we use these two tenses together. So you could say, um, she was studying in England when something happened here, when she broke her leg, okay? Hopefully that doesn't happen, but you understand. So she was studying. And so so you it's very common to um, combine these two tenses in one sentence, okay? And, and the way we do that is with when or while or then, um, just something to kind of combine those two sentences and say, during when it started, something happened and then it ended, okay? So she was studying in English when she broke her leg or while she was studying in English, comma, she broke her leg, you understand? Okay, so let's put this in the past tense. She was studying in England. The, the negative is she wasn't studying in England. She wasn't studying in England. 
the question, the yes, no question was, was she studying in English? Was she studying in English? Again, like this one with did, we can say, wasn't she studying in England? It's more of a clarifying question. So maybe you thought she was studying in English, but you're not sure. So you're asking, wasn't she studying in England? And then when was she studying in England? Is that, um, you know, the question, the WH question that requires or elicits or you're asking for more information. So when was she studying in England? The answer, of course, for when is going to be a time frame. You can say two years ago, last month, 10 years ago, in March, you know, any of those things that kind of reference in the past. Okay, great. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to move over to the table here. I want to kind of just go over these grammar notes with you guys. Okay, here is your activity for the day. I would like for you to do this exercise here on your own. So you're going to use simple past or past progressive. It's going to give you the example for both. So was seeing or saw did, were, do, doing. You've got all of the answers in front of you. You just have to decide which one is correct, okay? So you're talking, these are conversations between Lily and Tony, and then another conversation here and another conversation here. So go ahead and pause this and write these down, please. And you can just call it, you know, A1, A2, A3, and then B1, B2, for example, C, you know, you get you get the idea. Um, okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Please stop this video right now and finish this up. This will be your homework, okay? Find ways to interact in English. You know, maybe you have, um, at work, you've got a friend who speaks English and maybe ask that person if you can have coffee together two days per week for a half an hour and speak only in English. And when you're with that person, also ask them to tell you when you make mistakes. Um, because if you don't tell people that, typically people are not going to tell you when you make a mistake. And that's just really, at least in, in American culture, it's not very, um, it's not very likely. It's not very comfortable for somebody to tell somebody they're making a mistake. But if you open that door and say, please, 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 if you hear me make a mistake, please tell me. Okay. 